Hello, my friend. On May 5th, here we are. I'm Pat Sloan. This is our magical quilty May calendar and challenge. We have a May challenge, and today I put on the challenge favorite people. So, what does favorite people mean? I want you to tell me about that person or people. Could be, you know, somebody. Uh, in your family, friends, uh, instructors, uh, people you watched on television. But tell me the people that helped you with your quilt making. Somebody that you consider the favorite person that really helped you solve a problem or taught you something new or is important to your quilt making journey. And it doesn't have to be for when you started. It could be somewhere along the path or someone just recently that said, hey, do this and it solved a problem for you. Now they're your favorite person, right? So that is favorite person I'm talking about. For me, my favorite uh, person is really favorite people. Uh, the My friends that are local that I sew with and talk with, we have a uh, Facebook group that we're in and we talk with each other there. Um, we've done Zoom uh, to uh, catch up because we usually meet once or twice a month, but we're not doing that right now. So those are my favorite people. They, a good group of them, a core group of them were people that I met when I first joined the Quilt Guild, which was right when I first started quilting. So I came to the Guild because my instructor told me, go to the Guild, you'll find, you know, lots of people that are, you know, quilting and like it as much as you do. And so um, a couple of them said, you know, come sit by me at that first or second meeting. And I just then you know, got along with them. I liked what they were doing. They're very helpful. They're really friendly. And we have since connected. We were all in part of a group with a, a quilt shop and then the quilt shop didn't run the group anymore. But we were like, but we'd really gotten to know each other even better there and we'd added on more people. Uh, so at that point, we're like, well, we need to keep this going because even though the shop isn't going to keep it going and some of them weren't in the guild, uh, we just said, well, we like each other a lot. So we just started meeting at our houses or at community rooms. And that's what we we do. And there's about now about maybe 10 or 12 that are local. And then we keep up with the ones who were, you know, some of the ones that have moved, you know, they've left, moved to different state. So we keep up with them. So those are my favorite people. But I can't wait to hear yours. Leave me down in the comment here at uh, wherever you're watching the video at YouTube or Facebook. Uh, and if you can leave a picture, if you have you and your uh, favorite person or people, I'd love to see a picture of them with you or just them. <laughs> Tag them if they're there. Okay, and we have blocks, 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 blocks for our rainbow quilt. Now, I have true confession. I did not. I did not stow the stack together yet. So that's still on the list. Stack sewing, rainbow stack sewing, because I can sew the first group now, right? We, we, we can sew the first group. So I have another group of orange. I did four today. So today I did four, which was the same thing I did yesterday. Uh, we do either six or four. Um, and some of you are just zooming along. You're making all the blocks. I don't know how you're intending to sew daily, but you know, maybe you are, maybe you'll just sew them. What's supposed to be sewn for that day together and, you know, group them up. Uh, some people are just cutting and sewing on the same day, but I have to tell you, I'm very disappointed in my fun, fun orange fabrics. I do not have fun orange fabrics in these kind of, you know, juicy shades. I have some fun ones that are darker, more like pumpkin orange, you know, darker orange. And then I have some that are really light and that go more towards peach. So they didn't fit in the color range for rainbow. So I need to shop. I need to shop for that. There is one in that Heather Ross fabric I'm using for Gudrun's Hope Quilt. Uh, there was an orange in there, but that project used the entire layer cake. There was not a, a square for me to use. So I'm debating, do I order like a half a yard just to get that? And then what do I do with the rest of it? It goes in the stash, of course. <laughs> but I'm debating whether I really want to order the whole half a yard of that just to get, just to get some. But you never know. I might do it. I might do it. Um, but we can sew. We have the plan. So there, there's the plan. And as you get them done, you can sew those up. Uh, now, today we'll release the 
uh, children's um, childhood games, sorry, Woo. <laughs> childhood games the next block because I still have the um, Baby Charming for Wednesday. And I believe then we have one more Wednesday and then we'll go back to block Wednesday. So you'll find today before noon Eastern time the uh, childhood games for, for uh, this week. So I don't have it to show you, but you'll see it then later. Uh, now a few people asked me about the button club and I didn't have the buttons when I showed you the quilt. They were over on the side. I couldn't reach them, but I had the buttons here today. So I'm going to show them to you. This is the button uh, club quilt that I designed called a happy dance. And I use the Tula Pink Monkey Wrench Fabric. See, look at that happy fabric. Look at that fun fabric with the monkey. The monkey is more realistic than cute. You know what I mean? But I kind of like him anyway. Now she does, Tula does hide images. Can you see the frogs hidden in this purple? And then I don't know if I have it down here. Oh yeah, here we go. This one, there's parrots. Can you see them? They're facing each other. See their eyeballs and then the plumes. See their eyeballs here and then the plumes and here's the parrot body. So she has been doing that for a long time. And then she has things she doesn't hide whatsoever like bananas. <laughs> I love the banana fabric. She didn't have any orange in this though. Not really, not pieces. So, okay. Let me show you the buttons. I designed the button club for the Fat Quarter Shop and they have the, this button club from the uh, just another button company so let me let me show you let's get a little closer and when you get the button club I believe it comes out who oh, I know I know it comes out every other month occasionally there might be two months you don't get one but I think it's pretty much every other month this grouping was a word grouping so there's always a set of wor uh, word buttons letter buttons they spelled a word and just another button company, I interviewed the owner, Cecile, and her daughter works with her. The two of them own the company. Uh, and what they do is these are handmade. Um, Whoops, pull it back here. These are handmade buttons. The frog makes me smile. I just love the frog. But there's also a bunny, and he's very sweet. There were some balloons. So these things are balloons here. Then there's the alphabet. Teeny weeny little berries and Easter eggs. This one had an Easter egg group. So you can see them all here. These are all the letters to spell happy. So they aren't uh, hand formed, but these are all rolled. And you can see like the little Milliflory style. You know, so that's rolled. So they cut it. So that means it can be used. Like I'll show you the frog. He's my favorite. Look at him. And then you turn him over and he's the same because they do this, you know, this roll and then they slice it up like you've seen. The other buttons here, you, you get these sets. Now I dumped them out for doing photos, but you get the all this variety of sizes which come in one bag. And then they have a bag that are all hand dyed to order for this custom kit. And it's like medium size and then the little bitty sizes, which the hearts are my favorite. And there's little bitty flowers. And so you have this whole variety of sizes to work with, which is just fabulous for accenting pieces. Um, and I want to put them, I showed you the buttons down like the middle. In the, but the frog I might have to keep for something like I hang up a smaller piece because man, he is cute. He is so cute. Whoops. Okay, I put them all in there. I don't want to lose them, so they're in the little basket over there. So what do I have on my wall back there? Hmm? Did you spy? Did you I spy behind me? I hung up my pineapple quilt. I will be showing you my hope quilt from Gudrun So Along. Um, maybe tomorrow. We'll see if it's all sewn together tomorrow. So I hung up my pineapple quilt. But there's one big reason the pineapple quilt is hanging up there because it has been quilted for a very long time. Here, I will zoom you in. This is a pattern by Jackie Podesky and uh, she did a tutorial, but she didn't have, she doesn't write patterns. She just sort of did it herself. And so I said, well, I'll put your tutorial, you know, in, in your directions into a PDF so people can have it. So it is on my pattern page. There we go. I'll zoom in close. Cindy and Dennis did this fabulous grid work for me that looks like pineapple. 
I used a lot of yellow pieces when I did this. Isn't it great? The thing is, is it's been done for a while. Do you notice the edge? Yes, I do not have white binding on it. I have no binding on it. And that, my friend, is the problem. There's Norm. Norm says hi. Okay. <laughs> so that's one of my 800 quilts that needs binding. You know I don't really have 800 that need binding. That's just a funny way of saying I have a lot, but not 800, but I always say 800 for everything. Okay, so that is gonna get binding because I am going to put that in my living room and hang it up and do the green and yellow and springy kind of things in there someday, soon, because <laughs> it's May. And I need to do all of that before I put up sort of my Americana in July. So I've got May and June for springy stuff if I get my butt in gear to get it done. Get it done. So that's up there to encourage me. If you have not subscribed, do it, do it, do it down below. If you have not gone over to my website, the link is below in all that text. I have a goodie bag that somebody will get, the one that I forgot yesterday to pick a name. And so I just extended it a week. So if you had not entered, and I know you probably didn't enter because not everybody who watches this entered. So you have time, time to do it. <laughs> so go on over there and do that. I thank you for using all of our links. Uh, supports our small family business. Mwah! I love you. It is so fun to see you here in the morning for our daily challenges. And I will catch you online.